Good morning. Today is Friday, October the 2nd, and it's a Wise Words from Waldo devotion for you. In 1868, a pharmacist named Sanford Bennett was filling prescriptions in his pharmacy in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. His friend, Joseph Webster, walked into the store. Joseph was a musician. He played the violin and sang, but he also suffered from depression. The two of them had often got together to write a few hymns and songs. Sanford would write the words, and Joseph would write the music. On this morning, Joseph was particularly sad. Sanford asked, what's the matter now? He replied, doesn't matter, it'll all be over by and by. The idea for a hymn hit Sanford immediately. He stopped what he was doing, sat down at his desk and started writing. The words came almost instantly, he said. Two customers came into the pharmacy. He ignored them. So they began talking to Joseph. In a few minutes, Sanford got up from his desk. He handed Joseph a piece of paper and he said, Here's your prescription, Joseph. Joseph read the words out loud. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Instantly, Joseph suggested a tune for the poem, and he jotted down some notes. He went out, got his violin, and began playing it. They then suggested that Sanford and the two customers join in and sing the song. As it was being sung in the pharmacy for the first time, another customer came in. He listened to the song, and when it was done, he said, Gentlemen, I've never heard that song before. It's amazing. And he was right. For 150 years, we've been singing that song, written in 30 minutes in a drugstore. There is a land that is fairer than day. And Christ is preparing that place. Is that your attitude? The Bible says, For now we see in a dark mirror, but one day we will be face to face with the Lord. And the sweet by and by. Now stop and think about that.